Let's, let's say you're wanting to know how to parent your children in uh, with an upcoming awkward family reunion or family visiting for Thanksgiving or life comes at you fast and it's not it's not a video you can pause or it's you know you uh, one of the things you have to do is anticipate when our kids were littles uh, and Nancy would take them to the grocery store she knew what the temptations in the grocery store were going to be so you think? <laughs> yeah <laughs> at least after the first visit or two um, and so she would go over Prepare this, them. Prepare yeah. them beforehand. Yeah. Before we go in, this is the game plan. This is what we're going to do. So uh, if, if there's, there will be some times when you're just totally surprised by something. Mm -hmm. But most of the time, difficulties are anticipatable. Um, you're going to the family reunion and you know that um, Uncle George is living with his girlfriend or you know there's a homosexual thing there or what do you do? And basically, your job as parent is Deuteronomy 6, to talk about the law of God when you rise up, when you lie down, when you go along the road, when you're in the car on the way. Uh, you, you talk about the law of God. And you don't do, do it on, on, you don't have a false Victorian sense of propriety. That's not what you talk about when you rise up, when you lie down. You talk about the law of God. And the law of God is not squeamish about, you know, mm -hmm. If you want your kids to be Bible readers, you want them to be in the Word, reading through the Bible, and the Bible tells them not to have sex with their aunt, and and that should not be something they read for the first time in college. So when you're when you're talking about these things, it it creates a, a deep sense of loyalty in your kids, and a hard headedness and a shrewdness about the way the world actually is. Um, so you're, you don't want the kids to be um, have a false uh, Pollyanna view of, uh, of the way the world's going. You want your home to be a very happy place, but you don't want your children to be under any illusions, assuming that the world is a very happy place. It, it's not. So you prepare them on the way and you debrief on the way home.